glue versus a non-stick pan. Not too long ago, I put out a couple of shorts seeing if super glue and an industrial strength epoxy would stick to a non-stick surface and they didn't at all. But a lot of viewers had ideas of other types of glue they wanted to see, so I'm gonna test all of them out in one video. Some of my longtime fans might think this looks pretty familiar, and you're not wrong. When I was on The King of Random, I did two different videos testing different types of adhesive on a non-stick pan. And those videos are actually why I'm not trying several types of glue you might want to see. So JB Weld, Steel Stick, Flex Tape, Flex Glue, and Contact Cement are all things that I've already tried on non-stick pans. So if you want to see those, go find The King of Random videos where I do something similar and check it out there. These are glues that I've never tested and it's time. Now the first one I'm going to be attaching is this, the 3M 5200 Marine Adhesive Sealant. And the reason I'm only doing this one right now is because it takes four days to cure. The rest of them don't take that long. One of the glues I'm testing hasn't even arrived yet, but I'm going to attach this one now and then the rest in a couple of days. To you guys, it's going to be like five seconds, but that's how it works. Here we go, our Marine adhesive, and a good squish down seal. Not pushing it all the way out, there's still plenty in between our little 3D printed fixture and the bottom of the pan. There we go. Four days to cure, huh? All right. We've given our marine adhesive a few days head start, which is what it needs. It's time to apply the rest of the glues. And uh, some of them recommend gloves and eyewear and good ventilation. So that's what we're doing. We've got that one. Let's move on. Number two, nail glue. I'm not terribly familiar with this stuff. I think that it's mostly just like super glue, but I haven't tried it. it smells kind of like super glue. Nice even coating all over the bottom of that. Nail glue. Uh, how about we try our silicone caulking? I had several people ask for varieties of this. This is the variety we're going for. It's just very thick. E6000, another common request. Gorilla Glue. The Gorilla Glue calls for lightly dampening one of the surfaces. Since the glue is going to go on the plastic, I'm just going to dab a little bit of water. Now Gorilla Glue, if I recall, foams up a lot as it cures, which is how it bonds some things. I don't think any of the foaming action is going to get inside the plastic or the pan surface, so I am curious to see what happens to this in 24 hours. Liquid Nails Construction Adhesive. This is for buildings instead of boats, I guess, is the difference between this and the marine glue. Okay, here we have a UV Cure JB Weld brand adhesive. So you apply it and then you hit it with the light. I'm only gonna be able to apply the light to part of it because the rest of it's gonna be covered by opaque things. So see how this goes. Just, oh yeah, oh, there it goes. Mm, let's, hit that, let's hit that with a light. Just a little test. Okay, well. Here goes. Now I've got one last glue to try. This is 3M Scotch Weld Acrylic Structural Plastic Adhesive 8020 Glue. That's a lot of information, a lot of words, names, and numbers, and I don't really know what any of them mean. What I do know is I looked up what are some types of glue that are designed for what's called low energy surfaces. That's things that, like a Teflon surface on a pan, doesn't have a lot of friction to it. This type of glue was supposed to be better for it. I don't know if it's actually gonna stick to this surface, but it seems like it might have the best chance of anything. I'm not sure how I feel about them making this look like child's toothpaste. There we go. And now we wait. Give it a final 24 hours to make sure everything has had a good chance to cure and set and polymerize and whatever else they do. We'll see which ones are stuck if any. Well, believe it or not, gluing stuff to frying pans is actually not my favorite use for them. My favorite thing to do with them is cook, which is where the sponsor of today's video, Graza Olive Oil, comes into play. So Graza Premium Quality Olive Oil, and it comes in two varieties. They've got the sizzle and the drizzle. Sizzle is an extra virgin cooking oil made from mature mid-season olives, so it's got a wonderful mellow flavor and a high smoke point of 411 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is great for cooking anything you want. 
Now the Graza olive oil isn't just for cooking, we've also got the drizzle variety. This is a punchy, vibrant, grassy flavor that goes amazingly well on anything that could use olive oil. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Graza isn't just bringing you top tier olive oil, they've also put a lot of thought into their packaging. These squeeze bottles are by far the best way I've ever seen to portion out olive oil. They are opaque, which means they're not gonna oxidize as fast, and you can get refills for these bottles, both online and at a local Whole Foods, and they come in these recyclable aluminum cans. So you just refill your squeeze bottle and don't create any more plastic waste. Guys, you gotta try this olive oil. It is incredible stuff. Use the QR code on the screen or the link down in the description to order yours today and don't forget to use code NFTI10 for 10% off of your order. All right, how well will the glues stick? Uh, I think I've given them enough time, but whether I have or not, we're gonna pull them off. So we've got seven, eight, I'm good at counting. We've got eight different glues. It's time to find out how well they hold on to our non-stick pan. I'm kind of trying to decide like what's the order that I have like the least confidence in up to the most confidence in. I, I kind of want to remove them in that order. So I think I have the least confidence in the UV curing glue because I couldn't even like cure under the middle of it. I could only cure around the very edges. And so I, I think it's mostly like a super glue in terms of strength. Let's try that one. How well? Did our JB Weld brand Super Weld UV Reactive Glue attach to our nonstick pan? Oh, it's stuck! Okay, it's kind of stuck. It did resist. It stayed on there for a second. Like, if I had taken the pan and shaken it, it wouldn't have fallen off. But I was able to pull it off pretty easily. So, <sighs> wouldn't really try and hang anything from it with that. Now, having said that, I now realize I should try this test first. Okay, all right, pass. Nothing falls off that easily. The nail glue, no, nail glue, not, not liquid nails. Uh, that's the next one I have very little faith in. It seems like it's probably just kind of like a super glue. When I tried super glue, it just came right off. So here goes, pull it straight up. Okay, the other one I had to pull a little bit to the side to get it come off. The nail glue I was able to pull off just by lifting straight up. And again, we've got a nice smooth surface. It did hold on for a second. You saw it didn't shake off. I'm gonna give that one to the pan once again. Mm, okay, now it gets kind of tricky. I think next up is going to be the Gorilla Glue, which did foam up a little bit. I was talking about how that's its normal method of adhesion. Um, it's the least gooey, I think, of what I've got left. So, all right, Gorilla Glue, let's just see the edges here. Do seem nice and cured. Foam glue. Pull straight up. Pretty good. Oh, it did come off. All right, we've got some of that foamed up Gorilla Glue on there. Thin layer. This has never been what Gorilla Glue was designed to attach. I will say all of them so far are doing better than plain super glue ever did. Let's try the marine adhesive. That's the, uh, the one we put on early because it took so long to cure. And I will say that it's actually still a little sticky. Like it's still goopy. I can smush it around with my fingernail. So I may still not be at the full cure time. Let's find out how well it holds. Oh. It's still just gooey. I mean, some of it's still stuck to the pan and some of it's still stuck to the plastic, but it came apart. Maybe I just didn't give it long enough. Guys, let me know if you want me to retry this with the marine adhesive and really let it cure for, I don't know, a couple of weeks or something. Liquid nails construction adhesive. Here we go. <laughs> uh, well, Liquid Nails construction adhesive apparently needs a little bit more air to cure. The outside seems to have cured quite well, although the bond just came right off the pan. It is still liquidy in the middle, but the parts that actually dried put up, I think, the least resistance yet. Silicone caulking, how are you gonna hold up to the test? Okay, well, no, it wasn't very good. I pulled straight up. I didn't have to twist back and forth at all. It really just peeled off pretty easily. Mm, slightly gooey feeling. E6000. This might've been our most requested glue to try. There was a lot of people who wanted to see this one. Boy, oh, ah, gonna have to go for a sideways. Yep, there we go. Oh, oh, that's interesting. It peeled off of the plastic more than it peeled off of the pan. How oh, well does it peel off of the pan? Okay, so it does peel off of the pan without too much resistance. The very center of that may not have cured all the way. I think this is, again, like the liquid nails, the more it cured, the less it stuck. The fancy stuff, the, what's the word for it? Methacrylate adhesive. The 8010 blue. 
supposedly the best kind of glue for this type of surface, according to the research that I did. Let's see how well it holds. Nothing on the straight up. Let's try some sideways. Oh, there it goes. Just a little bit of sideways pressure popped right off. Oh, I was so excited to find a glue that really worked, that would beat the pan, but sadly no. You know what? I gotta know. I gotta know with the marine adhesive, what happens if it really has the chance to fully cure all the way? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna stick it back on. I'm just gonna leave it there for like over a week and see how it does. I gotta know. All right. All right, I did it. I gave it a week. I actually gave it more than a week. It had nine days to cure. If it's not cured now, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's find out how it does. Got some hold. Oh, well. Good news and bad news. Good news, it didn't peel off of the plastic. Bad news, uh, the, the pan, the pan won. The pan won. I did want to look at one other thing though. Because I waited an extra week, nine days, I now get to see how the extra fully cured marine sealant that was left on the pan and the construction adhesive that was left on the pan do now that they're completely dry. Can I peel them off? Are they really stuck on there? Quick test. Yeah, oh, well, there's the construction adhesive and that just popped right out there. <sighs> All right, Marine C, oh, oh, look at that. Just came right off immediately. I chose this specific pan. This is the, the, the Ninja Foodie Pan because there is a channel on TikTok called Cult Flav that tests out pans and they said that this one is particularly non-stick. They were right. So far it is undefeated. Nothing has stuck to it. If you have an idea for a type of glue you want to see me test against this pan that I haven't done yet, yeah. let me know. Maybe I'll give it a try. As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. We could not do these videos without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description.